Welcome my friends to the Outdoor Archives. I'm going to try something a little bit different today. Um, I'm going to try carving a spoon. Something I don't have a whole lot of experience with but I thought it would be a pretty fun project so I brought a bunch of uh, tools, axes, knives, hook knives, uh, small knives, big knives, just to see what, uh, you know, how we can do this thing. So sit back, relax, have a coffee and we'll get started. I think I found the perfect branch. If you remember this one, this is the wood I cut from my Vargo stove uh, review. And it actually looks like it's a pretty good size. Not too thick, not too thin. I don't want to make a big knife for my first one. Sorry, a big spoon for my first uh, project, but I think this would be the perfect size, so. I think that will work. Okay, for my first step, I want to split this guy. And I want to try and make it right down the middle if possible. Let's see. I think that looks good. Okay, uh, grain's a little twisted, not too bad though. Hopefully it works out. All right, next, I'm gonna try to flatten out this inner part as much as, as I possibly can. That's probably a good start. So I hope the camera can pick this up. I drew a really rough outline of what I want the spoon to look like. And you'll notice the wood is curved down here. It curves this way. And since I'm right-handed, I kind of wanted to use the natural curve of the wood. I don't know if that's going to hurt me later, but uh, I just wanted to try it out. So let's see what happens. Well, I'll take some of this bark off here. Okay, this is the spoon side, so I'm going to take a little bit more off of here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try to kind of round this side a bit. Got to be careful of this wood splitting too. It's always a possibility that all your work goes down the drain. So I'm just trying to take my time. I'll have to do something about that, but so far so good. So now what I've done is with my saw I've put a little stop cut here and the reason at least my thinking is I want to uh, 
I want to remove this part of the wood. Um, so I'm going to try with the axe to split it and hopefully it splits properly. I don't want that split to continue down and damage the uh, the spoon end. So I gotta just take my time here. And it's pretty close to split. I'm just taking my time. I guess I can help it along with the saw a little bit here. Just don't want it to crack past that point. Okay. Okay, so first lesson learned. Um, when I did this side, I took off one big chunk. I guess I got a little bit ahead of myself, and I think I ended up taking off a little bit too much on this side, um, which is okay. I think I can fix it, but next time I'm going to do it like I did this side, and I just took off a bunch of little tiny strips, much more controlled. I think it'll work better. Uh, so next, now I've got to do here to the spoon portion, which might be a little tricky, but uh, let's try it out and see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a bit of a cold today. I've been fighting for the last couple of days. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now, make another stop cut. I already did this side, but I'm going to make a little stop cut here. Uh, that's probably about as far as I want to go. And I'll have to be really careful. Just take a little bit off at a time. Easy does it. Okay. Now this I probably better just do ever so carefully. Okay. Oh boy, I just cracked it. Might be able to, might be able to save that, but I guess my stop cut didn't go, was more on an angle on this side and didn't go all the way through and it ended up cracking down there. Oh well, lesson learned, I guess. See if I can fix it. So the spoon is taking its crude shape now, and I'm getting a little bit worried working with the axe. Um, it's just getting close to these corners, so time that I got out my knives, I brought a few of them here, Mora, uh, Pocket Knife, Spider Co, and I do have some wood knives here, and of course my Essie, my neck knife, so we'll see which one of those is, uh, is going to work.
Well, the spoon is starting to really take shape here. Um, I've just kind of been going along, trying to just rough, um, well, take out the rough parts, just kind of scraping through it. Finding out where there's a big bump or a ridge of some kind, and then you're kind of just shaving. Just little bits at a time. I don't have any sandpaper here, so uh, it's not going to get a whole lot more refined than this, but I do have to carve out the middle, so we'll see how that goes as well. Okay, well now the time has come to carve out the bowl. Yeah, I know these look funny. If anybody knows of uh, any nice sheath for a spoon knife, I'd appreciate it. So anyways, how these work is you basically just start carving. So now this is a double-sided spoon knife and in hindsight I really wish I got a single side one because I would like to kind of go down here and push with my thumb because you get a lot of power down there but I can't because this part is sharp so I'm stuck pushing up here and as you can see this is going to take a little bit of time it's okay actually a beautiful day today I think it's about it was about 10 degrees when I came out and I think it's warmed up now I've had the layer right right down here um, feels like spring we're beginning of March close to spring but not quite there yet but this is a beautiful spring day so I don't mind taking my time out here and uh, getting this done so we'll keep at it well my friends the crude spoon is done still got some rough parts here but what I'm gonna do is actually let this sit for a couple of days to harden up and I'm gonna take it home and sand this and I think that's really going to put a nice finish on it but for now we've got a usable crude spoon so uh, a couple of things I learned um, I guess the first thing is if you're going to do this yourself make sure you're comfortable with the tools you're using because your fingers are in the way you know as you're as you're chopping this this block of wood um, also got knife safety to keep in mind because there's a lot of you know your, your fingers are always in the way as you're cutting it's easy to nick a finger and hurt yourself pretty badly too so just make sure you uh, you know how to use the tools that you bring and bring a lot of them because I found that a lot of these I ended up using so this large knife here I found was really good to do shoulder power cuts at the beginning after I was done with the axe I was able to really put power into those cuts and get a lot of uh, excess wood off of there um, and of course, things are falling everywhere here. The Mora knife worked great. Um, one of the cheapest knives out there and uh, just seemed to have enough control and worked well for me. I did have a couple of others. Uh, I did have a spoon knife that really helped me inside here to you know, carve out that bowl. And uh, of course your saw to cut things down. So uh, another thing, <clears throat> when you're starting out it's always nice to make sure your wood has no knots in it this little this one here actually had a few little knots in it and um, a couple that I had to carve out and when you carve those knots it, it they're they're super hard and it takes a lot of work so make sure you've got no big knots um, in the wood another thing too would be to look at the orientation of the grain this one was just a little bit off so it was bent just a little bit and that made for a little bit of you know harder carving uh, and actually that might have been why I had the crack was because of the curve I'm not sure but it's possible um, so make sure that uh, that you look at that and I guess the most important thing is to you know even if you make a mistake I, I made a mistake and uh, I ended up cutting too close to my circle line but that's okay I just kind of reprofiled this and, and, and it worked and seems to be okay so um, you know just be creative I didn't really have a template a template would have probably helped uh, speed things up and it would have probably made less mistakes but I just wanted to kind of come out here and see what you know what came of it I might rethink some of these designs but for now this is just like a big sauce spoon or soup spoon I might use at home after I finish it off so I'll, I'll, I'll come back in future episodes and uh, and update you on that
Well guys, we've reached the end of another video. Really hope you enjoyed that spoon carving session. I'm no expert, just came out here with an idea and wanted to try it. I think it turned out okay, all things considered. If you've got your own spoon design or your own method, post it in the comments, I'd love to see it. Maybe I can take some of your ideas and put them into my next spoon or maybe use some of the ideas I had here. Either way, let me see them. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me out. And we'll see you in the next video.